Shalom. Good morning. This is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. We welcome you to our YouTube channel. The question that was asked most recently referred to the situation of the Haredi community in Jerusalem. The problem that seems to be erupting in Jerusalem and has been developing over the past number of years is the growing numbers of Jews who identify as Haredi or ultra right wing Orthodox Jews. The problem is not that they don't have a right to their opinion and not that they aren't good people individually, but that as a group, they tend to be under the rule of a select group of charismatic rabbinic leaders. They act and follow a very authoritarian system. Um, they do not participate actively in the life of the state of Israel. Some of them are neutral on Israel. Some of them are actually anti-Zionist. And they don't serve to a large extent in the military. They don't participate actively enough in the economic life of Israel. And they are always on the receiving end of charity dollars and welfare dollars. And therefore, there's a great deal of hostility towards this community within Israeli society. To be sure, they have the right to live according to the way they wish. On the other hand, so do every other so do all the other Israelis have a right to live according to their own desires. This is a democratic state. And therefore, it is imperative that some means be found to establish a way where all members of the Jewish community and non-Jewish citizens of Israel can live in relative harmony, serving the country to the best of their ability and advancing the cause of the state. One of the problems that we find within the Haredi community is that they tend to follow the most extreme rigid rules in halakha and they have taken control to a large extent of the rabbinic establishment in Israel. The rabbinic courts, the chief rabbinate, are all governed by a very right-wing, narrow-minded, bigoted, I would say, xenophobic group of rabbis who make it very difficult for the rest of society to find love of Torah, love of Judaism. And therefore, the problem needs to be solved. I would like to point out that in, to a certain extent, it is being self-solved. How is that? Uh, we have a wonderful friend, uh, Pintachas Landau, who is an economist and a writer who lives in Jerusalem. He's written an article for a forthcoming issue of our journal Conversations on the Haredi community. And Pintachas has found, through his own research, that the Haredi community is actually changing. More of the younger generation are actually finding work. They want to have employment. More of the younger people are voting not with the party line of the Haredi community. They recognize the need to participate in the life of Israeli society. So while the problems are certainly existing now, there is a hope that the situation will improve. One of the reasons we founded the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals is to create a forum for discussion of modern orthodoxy, a non-Haredi view of orthodoxy, a view of orthodoxy that is inclusive, compassionate, involved in society. We invite you to visit our website at jewishideas.org to see what we are doing and how you can join in the effort to make Orthodox Judaism and Judaism in general a more compassionate, a more inclusive, and a more wonderful way of life for more people. We have a great message. Let's join together and let's make it work. Thanks so much.